I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things in the world is frothed milk. I like it really nice and rich and velvety and foamy and thick. So, I'm going to compare two different milk frothers for the maximum thickness of milk, which is cappuccino level. Now, these both cost just a few cents shy of $60 on Amazon. This one is the Secura MMF615, and this one is the Viante Calf 20. Okay, first of all, I've measured out 150 milliliters of cold, fresh, whole milk. 150 milliliters is just a little bit over a half a cup. Now, the reason I did that is because the capacity for cappuccino, maximum capacity for this one, is 150 milliliters. Now, the Secura can actually do 250 milliliters capacity for cappuccino, 500 for latte. This one can only do 300 for latte. All right, now let me show you about the frother whisks. This frother whisk for the Secura actually is inside the lid. You pop it out. If you'll notice, there's a lot of space around here. And my theory is that that allows a lot more air to come inside the froth than this Viante. The Viante has the frothing disc on the bottom for storage. Now, if you'll notice this, it's solid around the center, and it only has the frothing part really around the edge. Now, this is magnetic, so you just take off the lid. You can hear that click, it just pops in. With this one, um, and also, this only has one attachment. It's just one whisk for both latte and cappuccino. For the Secura, it has a dasher for the latte. Now, you can just put that dasher back in the lid, which I always keep it in there because I love cappuccino. You just put this in. Okay. Now, as far as the way they plug in, for what it's worth, this is a three-pronged plug. And with the Viante, it's a two-pronged plug. All right. Now, you'll notice as soon as I plug in the Viante, it lights up here. Now, it has four settings. It has um, hot cappuccino, cold cappuccino, or iced cappuccino. It has warm milk and cold milk. Okay. Um, so... Right now, I have it selected at hot cappuccino. This one has no specific selection. What you do is you press the button once for hot froth, and you hold it in for cold froth, which it does wonderfully, by the way. Okay, but I'm going to do the hot froth now. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour in my 150 milliliters of cold, hot, cold, fresh, whole milk. Okay, put the lids on. By the way, this one has a rubberized kind of seal around it. It's a little bit more solid. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the Secura. I'm going to turn on the Biante. Now, I can tell you from experience that the Biante takes a lot longer, but you'll see that as this video goes along. Once I finished frothing the milk in both the Secura and the Viante, I'm going to pour it into these identical Pyrex measuring cups, just so you can see the yield of, fo of foam or froth. Um, if you haven't noticed by now, the Secura is my favorite one. Perhaps I should say that from the start. I've tried both. Um, for my money, considering that they both cost the same, Something that has a lot higher capacity, for one thing, is worth more money to me. And for another thing, something that makes much better, thicker foam is going to be a lot more value to, valuable to me. Um, as far as warranty is considered, the Secura has a two-year warranty, and the Biante has a one-year warranty. So again, you've got a difference in value right there. 
Okay, so we're waiting. And actually, if, if you can see that this red light is, is flashing, that means it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and pour out this froth. If you'll notice, it is all froth. There's no milk there, it's just all froth. Nice, hot, thick, creamy. You notice how thick it is that it's not even spilling down, it's just stuck to the inside. I'm going to use a little spatula just to get out every last bit. By the way, one other difference, this cannot be immersed. It has electronics in it. This cup itself can be immersed. Notice that it's taking a lot longer. We're still waiting for it. And now with time, at the bottom, you do have more milk. The froth does, you know, somewhat diminish, but you still get a lot of froth. And it's at least, I would say, about one and a half cups of froth, about 400 milliliters. And we're still waiting. And it's kind of clickety-clackety. I don't know if you can hear that, but to my ear, it doesn't sound as good. Still waiting. Perhaps we can do one of those things where it clips and we do the timer kind of thing. Oh, okay, finally it's done. All right. Now, I don't know if you can tell that this is runnier. It's more milk, not as much froth. Again, there's not much to get with a spatula, but just in case, just to make a fair comparison. Now this, this is just over a cup. This is just about 300 milliliters of froth. Now isn't it interesting <laughs> that the same amount of milk going in, 150 milliliters, with this one turned into 400 milliliters, and this one turned into only 300. Not only that, but this turns into milk more quickly, and this is a bit frothier longer. So. All around, I would definitely say, buy the Secura MMF-16, sorry, MMF-615. This is a 500 milliliter total capacity for latte. This one, the Ante, is 300 milliliter for, la milliliter for latte and 150 milliliter for cappuccino. This is Daniel Green, and I hope you make the wisest choice for yourself.